Welcome to another edition of PLP's Fiber Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to be talking about how to size your closures, your handholes, and the cables that you're using, all to fit seamlessly within your network. The tips and tricks that we're going to be covering today are applicable to any other handhole or closure manufacturer. This is the Old Castle Duralite 1212, and it pairs well with the Coyote DTC. This is the Old Castle Duralite. 1730 and it pairs well with the Coyote 1 dome closure. This is the Old Castle Duralite 2436 and it pairs well with the Coyote 6.5 by 17 inch dome closure or any smaller dome closure. This is the Old Castle Duralite 3048 and it pairs well with the Coyote 9.5 by 28 inch dome closure or any other smaller Coyote dome closure. Today we've got a Coyote 6.5 by 17 inch dome closure. We've got an Old Castle Duralite 2436 handhole, and we've got an OFS 96 count buffer tube fiber cable within the handhole. Let's get started. A couple things to keep in mind before making any purchases is how many splices am I going to need in the closure? How big of a closure do I want? How big of a handhole do I want? As well as the cable. You've got to know your minimum bend radius for the cable. So right now we're going to just, just going to pop off the, uh, the lid here. Pull the lid off to the side. Here we have our six and a half by 17 inch Coyote dome closure. As you can see, we've got plenty of room here. Um, taking a look here at the end plate, we've got plenty of room to allow for a nice cable bend radius. Now taking a look at our nine and a half by 28 inch Coyote dome closure. Hey, look at that, it fits. But guess what? There's not enough space for your cable bend radius. So. Your fibers are definitely going to attenuate, and using this with this handhole is a no-go. All right, so at this point, we've spliced up the closure. All I have to do is secure the latch and collar, and then we're going to work on coiling up the slack. So here I'll just lay it down and then work on the slack. All right, so here we're just going to finish off the slack loop making sure that we grab the closure by the closure, not the cable. That allows for a nice smooth bend radius. Everything should be good to go. All right, we're all set. All we've got to do is pull the lid on, get our bolt started. Snug them up. and we're off and running. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. I, for one, had a whole lot of fun. Until next time, we'll see you later.